G'day guys, we've had ongoing issues over the years with uh, overheating issues with the Volkswagen Transporter. This particular, particular one's a diesel, five cylinder. And um, what we've got here, we've removed the thermostat. No, that's a fuel pump, fuel filter. We've removed, I've removed the thermostat just uh, an hour ago and no water came out of the car. Now, when the owner came, he wants the uh, timing belt and um, uh, timing belts and, and water pump and everything done. But, you know, we don't just listen to people because we don't want to take $1,000 off him, which is cheap for that job, and, uh, and, 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 and not have a result. So, number one, when you have a car with this sort of corrosion that you see in the coolant bottle, just don't touch it. Uh, number two, isolate. So what we did, we clamped off. <laughs> You've taken off now? Yeah. A yellow clamp here, like that, clamped off the radiator, because the radiator miraculously is not blocked. Uh, and once I pulled the thermostat off and no water came out on the bottom thermostat housing, we realized there's a blockage and we, we blocked the hoses off, pressurized it with a, a coolant pressure test kit uh, and uh, with the adapter here. And uh, you know, we went into the red with it, thinking it'll unblock it. It didn't. Only once we opened this T down here. So this hose, that one there, was completely blocked, right? But the hose connected to it as well was so blocked that that's what came out of it. And this is electrolysis. This is, uh, it's, it looks like mud, but it's really... Uh, mud it's really the metal uh that's moving around with electrolysis you can get electrolysis if you have a bad um bad earth on the car but this is just neglect you know so hope that helps someone before they go thinking that the turbine is gone off their water pump now it might be with this type of corrosion you're never going to recover from this like this car will it'll never ever stop uh, with the issues because of the, the corrosion. Now, if the water pump turbines are gone, I'll erase this video and make another one. But for now, I hope that helps some people to diagnose the car. The first thing you should do is check this bottle's not blocked by removing the hose off the bottom. But if it's not blocked, continue along and isolate. Use air if you if you want, right? Or, or even better, use a pressure test kit. Uh, this car as well can have a blockage in the auxiliary electric water pump which is situated about here at the bottom of the car so um watch this, watch this. yeah it's free yeah. That part. that's the sound you should hear guys yeah, it's coming out the side of the thermostat housing on the block. The steam's coming out here. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So, sorry for the rough video, guys. We've spent a good f few hours trying to find this problem, uh, but uh, luckily we didn't go ahead and, and pull the water pump and all that out. Uh, uh, what was the last thing I was going to say? Oh, yeah. So, this car had multiple, multiple blockages. So that piece down there was blocked, but then after that got blocked, this got blocked as well. Uh, so yeah. This hose blocked too. You want? Yeah. This one will be blocked here too. So we got multiple blockages. Anyway, I'll wrap it up. Sorry for the rush video, guys. We've ha had a long day here, and you know we don't really oh, get paid for this sort of that. thing. Look. So. At that. Look. <laughs> look. Look. Yeah, completely blocked. Uh, Let's zoom in on that for the viewers. So the whole thing was blocked. Okay, everything's blocked. Okay, oh, that's a metal it, pipe. Is it plastic? Or okay, that's pipe? metal. It could be plastic. Looks like metal. Metal, metal yeah. Anyway, be careful when you take. All it. the bypass hoses underneath to the side of the block and that are, are to, and the water pump are, are metal, which is good. Uh, but um, there you go. That's it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Now we're free. Everything's free. One. Hope that helps, guys. Bye.